Hard to believe on this day, it was 20 years ago since Marine local hero Richard J. Gannon lost his life in battle. And today he's being remembered with this. This, this is an impressive piece of work here, a bronze bus. We have Craig Gottlieb with us, former Marine and director of Military History Institute. Craig, good morning. Good morning, Raul. Uh, what a special day, a special moment. This, this is an impressive uh, honor for him. Tell yeah. me about this and how it came to be. Yeah, it's a hard day, but it's a good day. Yeah. Um, well, uh, Rick was a good friend of mine. We served together. Uh, we were in college together at Cornell uh, and the basic school, which is a school for second lieutenants. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, over the many years since uh, we served, uh, I was, uh, I, do, I do military antiques. And so I started a, uh, an institute of 501c3 to honor uh, and to promote US military heroism. And this is the result, one of our biggest projects to date. And obviously, Rick, your friend, uh, received the Purple Heart, and, and how did that whole process come to be yeah. to end up with a bust in Escondido at City Hall? Because it doesn't seem like you can just tell somebody, yeah. I want to create a bust for my friend who died in exactly. battle and everything else. Yeah. Well, it's not just the Purple Heart. Yeah. He received the Silver Star for his gallantry in combat. That's a big deal. Yeah. That's third only to the Medal of Honor sure. in the United States. So uh, when I approached Escondido and told them we wanted to do this, they were like, Yes, we definitely want to honor Rick. Sure. Uh, Rick was born and raised in Escondido. His parents still live there. His wife still lives there. Uh, so it was just a good fit. Uh, obviously so special for the family, you can only imagine, oh, yeah. and his friends as well. 20 years. Uh, w why now? Why not before? Well, um, you know, everything happens at a time and for a reason, but today is literally the 20th anniversary yeah. of the day that April Rick lost 17. his life. So. Uh, explain if folks want to check this out. W where will this live? Will it be outside, inside? It's going to be inside. Okay. Uh, it's going to be placed today in the main building at City Hall, and then it'll move around uh, at the city pr uh, property depending on what they're doing. I want you to tell me a little bit more about this Military History Institute. It's quite fascinating. Tell people about it, maybe not familiar with it. Well, what I did was is I, I buy and sell military antiques for yeah. a living. That's what I do. Uh, but I wanted to pivot and start to do uh, charitable work. So about five years ago, I started the Institute, and its mission is to promote US military heroism. Wow. We do that in a number of ways. This is the first statue we've ever done. It's great. It's amazing. And it came out, by the it's way, amazing. we were just noticing before we started, like the, the, the detail yeah. and the craftsmanship is really very impressive, isn't it? Well, the artist, Dave Vanell, he really stepped yeah. up for this. He, he did six months of work in like three months. Couldn't have done it without him. And he, this is all handmade. He did this from photographs. Get out of here from, from photographs? photographs. Yeah, and guess what? I knew Rick. This is yeah, like. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Yeah. This, this was your friend. You went to college with this guy. You fought with this guy. And, and to look at this, I mean, do you, you see him? Yeah, I didn't fight with him, but yes, I knew him you very see well. This man. I see this guy. Uh, I was been in my garage for a couple days. Wow. Uh, we had to go out to Phoenix to pick it up. It's incredible. Uh, tell me about the ceremony happening uh, later today. Yeah, today at 5 p.m. Yeah. Uh, at City Council Chambers. And uh, you know we did this entirely through donations. We raised all the money, wow. small micro donations from his Marines, friends, supporters. It's really been it's incredible. And it's critical because you know, born and raised, uh, raised in Escondido, his family still lives there. And just to have so the young people coming up know who this man is and Absolutely. what he did for the country. And he's from right here in Absolutely. Escondido. Let's get this information up. Honoring Richard J. Gannon, hometown hero. The ceremony is happening again at 5 p.m. Escondido City Hall Council Chambers. Craig, we want to thank you once again. Thank you for your service and obviously your friend Rick, uh, an American hero. American hero you. for sure. Thank All right, we'll be right back.